Earlier this month, the biggest names in women's golf were on the island of Oahu for the Lotta Championship. A trip to Hawaii has most of the players in a pretty happy frame of mind, but it's fair to say Korea's Inby Park was more positive than most. After an injury plague 2016 that saw her not play for six months, the former world number one is once again healthy and back to her best. When I just started taking the break, about for a couple of months, I think I really enjoyed it, you know, being away from golf and you know, doing something else, not being, you know, not have to travel, not have to pack. You know, I kind of loved that stuff for a couple of months. But after that, I kind of miss, miss, miss the competition and miss the people out here and, you know, miss them, um, you know, playing golf. Aside from winning an Olympic gold medal, 2016 was tough for Inby, with a thumb injury limiting her to just 10 LPGA starts as she struggled to compete. After Rio, she announced she was done for the year to try and get healthy. So when she returned to tournament golf in late February, her expectations were modest. I wasn't able to play, you know, due to injury for such a long time that, you know, I, I thought I should be just thankful just playing out here, you know, no matter what the result is. You know, that's what I just really try to do, and, you know, the result kind of followed, so that was good. Yes, in just her second tournament back, NB returned to the winner's circle, claiming the prestigious HSBC Women's Champions in Singapore. She produced an incredible final round, hitting 17 greens and taking just 27 putts as she closed out with an impressive 64. This, at 17, nicely summed up her putting. You know, I thought I'd be happy with uh, maybe a two-putt, but um, that decided to go in. So I think that was really the big key. You know, that gave me two stroke lead going into the final hole. So you know, that gave me a you know, good cushion. Whatever I win, I putt really good. So um, yeah, that week was definitely the one of the top five um, you know putting putting days I had. I think. The success came after some serious soul searching during her enforced layoff, as she realised that her love for golf had faded. Her solution was to completely forget all her achievements in the game and restart her career. If I start new, you know, from the scratch, and maybe I'll be able to, you know, love golf again, I'll be able to appreciate what I'm doing, and I really, truly can love golf now. So, um, you know, it was, it was a long and hard process. I mean, it didn't just come, like, you know, overnight, like, I'm going to forget about it, and then it just forgets. But you don't appreciate something that you already have and something that you always have and something you all, almost thought that you're, you know, bored of it and you thought, you know, you had enough of it, but, you know, you really don't. I mean, something that you really, you know, truly love, you know, you can't have enough of it. So, you know, that's something I kind of realized, and I, um, yeah, really um, love being out here again. And Inby has played like it. She was in the hunt at the ANA Inspiration, coming up one shot shy of the playoff, won by final round playing partner So Yun Yu. In B claimed the title in 2013 and was delighted to see her close friend win a second major championship. She played really consistent, you know, all, you know, all, all this year, maybe since last year. Um, you know, she, that, I really thought that, you know, she is really deserved to win and you know, she was really ready to win. So I'm um, really happy to, you know, see her finally break out and um, yeah, being able to watch her do that was uh, amazing. It's probably bad news for the rest of the players that Inby Park is motivated and ready to add to her impressive tally of seven majors. Add in another 11 LPGA Tour career wins, and last year she became the youngest player ever inducted into the LPGA Hall of Fame. That's something I've always been dreaming of. Um, you know, being in the LPGA Hall of Fame is one of my you know, top goals in, in golf, and. Um, I didn't know that I was going to do it in such a young age, and I was able to um, do it in the youngest um, age of women's golf. So, I mean, that's, that's a huge, huge honor. I was just happy to be in the Hall of Fame.